If you're like Derek and Araya, you may find yourself enjoying a game of catch in the yard this fall, but sometimes you may just want to find a nice quiet place to relax. That's why I'm going to show you how to make your very own swinging bench. This is Cobalt Parent Projects. Derek and his daughter Araya love spending time in their backyard. And what better way to spend more time outside than with some comfortable outdoor seating? I'm going to work on a bench swing that you can build in a day. We'll start by making the support for our swing using these 4x4 pieces of Douglas fir. I cut the 4x4 pieces on an angle so the sides can come to a point at the top. Then I measure and cut some cross pieces to attach the legs together at the top and middle, forming an A shape. For the top cross pieces, I cut out notches with the jigsaw large enough for the 4x4 beam. I attach the A-frames together with glue and screws. Then, stand them upright, resting them on some saw horses. I insert the top beam into our notches and attach everything with some lag bolts. Araya and her dad will be swinging in no time. Now that our support's standing, let's go ahead and build our bench. I'm gonna cut two two by fours to five and a half feet long. To build the bench, first we need to create a frame. I measure and cut two pieces that run the width and four pieces that run the depth of the bench. I cut three more pieces and create notches so the back will recline at an angle. Then I add glue and screws to attach the seat frame to the base. With the frame finished, let's add the back and the seat of the swing. The seat and back of the bench will be the part people actually sit on. It consists of two by six wood boards, which will attach to the frame. First, I measure the boards to length on the frame, and then cut them to size on the miter saw, two at a time. Before I can attach the first seat board, I need to cut out two notches to make room for the armrest. Then I attach it and the rest of the seat and backboards using glue and headless nails. With the last back piece attached, it's time to make the armrests. I measure and cut the armrests and then drill large holes for drink holders. Now the structure of the bench is complete. With our bench complete, let's attach our hardware and turn it into a swing. First, I drill holes into the bottom of our bench frame and screw in some hooks. Then, I'm ready to attach our chain. Before we hang it, I have to add hooks to the support piece we completed earlier. I drill and screw in the hooks, then attach the other end of the chain. Now, it's time to hang our bench for the first time. Wow, that sure looks comfortable, and I'm about ready to take a seat. You know, I'm tempted to sit here all day, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to sand, I'm going to stain, and I'm going to finish our project. To give our project the polish it deserves, I go over every surface with the sander and smooth out any sharp corners. Then it's time to open our stain. We're going with dark walnut. I rub it in, making small circles with my rag. It's a large project, so this takes a while. After a lot of rubbing and some drying time, the dark look is complete. And it sure gives the wood a lot of character. Before it's ready for Derek and Araya, I'll add some finishing decor to really make this swing a place to relax. I better make sure it's comfortable enough before I let anyone else try it out. And just for a second. Some uh, amount of time later, I've decided to let Derek and Araya give it a try too. 
After a pretty exhilarating game of catch, this swinging bench is the perfect place to kick back and relax and enjoy the fall air. And what better way to bring in the season than with a cup of hot cocoa? With marshmallows, of course. Arias Cup fits perfectly in our cup holders. Hopefully, you've been able to involve your family in this build, and by now, you're swinging calmly on your own bench swing too.